All right, guys, we're ready to go. It's the morning the 8th. I'm all suited up, sprayed some scent spray on myself, got me some spark, so I got a little energy, and I'm gonna grab the bow, and I've got about a 30 minute walk out to one of the feeders, where I've seen four or five doe for about three or four straight days, come out there right around 7.30. So hopefully they uh, keep with their consistency, and I'll be able to put an arrow in my first deer. I'll see y'all out there. I don't, I don't know what happened there. We had about four doe that came in. They all looked relatively small. There was one good sized one that I was trying to get a good shot on. And then they heard something coming from over there. And I was hoping it was a buck. I had seen a buck come out and chase them around a few times. Um, but it was another group of about three or four doe. And uh, that mom came in and started messing with the other group that was there and, and scaring them off. And she gave me a pretty good broadside shot. It was maybe slightly quartering away. Um, and she definitely moved a little bit. And I think the shot was a little forward, but I got like no penetration. 
question. I, I don't know what happened there. I'm pretty disappointed right now. I mean, I hope it, uh, I hope it was enough to kill her, and hopefully quickly. I'm gonna go down and see if uh, the arrow came out. I thought I saw in the video that it popped out, but another dog just popped out of here. I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes and let things die down some. And then go see if I can find some blood or the arrow, but I must hit the shoulder. I, I don't know. Pretty, pretty disappointed with that shot, honestly. <sighs> it's frustrating. Well, I uh, got down and walked around. I'm at the spot where I hit her. Um, I see zero blood here. I couldn't find an arrow. I kind of walked over here a little bit. Couldn't really see if the arrow came out. Walked down about 30 to 50 yards and there's some trails and stuff, but I couldn't find a speck of blood. Um, so I guess I'm gonna back out and probably give her an hour or two Go watch the footage on my computer so I can see it on a bigger screen and see if I can tell what exactly happened. But yeah, pretty, pretty upset with myself. Um, but I'm gonna come back out here and keep searching and, uh, you know, try and find her, or find some blood, or see if she's uh, gonna make it and be alive and just, just was a bad shot all around. So. Alright, so I'm back out here. It's been three ish hours or so. Rewatched the video, and I don't know. I mean, it looked maybe a little bit low and a little bit forward. Um, when she jumped down and squatted, she turned to be a lot more quartering away than I anticipated. And it looks like I may have put it right in on the market. So, unfortunately, I'm not thinking it's going to be a uh, lethal shot um, but I'm out here I'm gonna see if I can find any blood I kind of got a better idea of where she took off to after she got hit so I'm gonna start walking down that trail and maybe do a little bit of grid searching to see if I can uh, track her down or see if she lost my arrow somewhere and see what that looks like I finally found some sign of blood um, probably can't tell but the feeder where I hit the doe was probably 30 40 yards that way finding very minute blood traces so um, not a good sign but at least I found some blood and I can start tracking it a little bit more. all right so I've been stuck on the same spot for about an hour and a half now I mean I don't know if, how well you can see that but that's pretty much all the blood I've been getting is about that size um, whether it's on a leaf or a little piece of stick or something, but there's definitely three or four right here in the spot. So I think she stopped right here and stood for a little bit, but then I really have no idea where she went after that. I've searched all over, couldn't find the next blood spot. Um, it's been about four and a half hours since I shot her and it's 90 degrees out, so I think uh, if she's dead, the meat's definitely going to be pretty bad pretty quickly. Um, but I really think she's going to be fine. My only fear is that I have not found that arrow yet, which means I think it's stuck into her shoulder blade is kind of what I'm thinking. So hopefully it's, it didn't wound her enough to where she's not going to make it. But at this point, I'm starting to think that just wasn't a lethal shot and that she'll be okay. I just hope that uh, it wasn't enough to wound her where she can't can't make it. So I'm gonna head back, grab some lunch. Uh, I may come back out to the same spot tonight to see if she shows up again. And then this afternoon, I may come out here and walk around a little bit and see if I can find my lighted knock. Kind of doubt it would last that long, but um, worth a shot, so. 
pretty unfortunate. Uh, hopefully she's fine and I make a better shot next time. Well, I feel a little bit better about my shooting. Uh, all the way through. <laughs> so you can kind of see uh, tracking pretty well broadheads and field points. So, and everything seemed to be in tune and, and flying pretty well. So I must have just, must have just missed something and first shot of the morning and didn't get a good shot on that doe about 4 30 now i'm gonna go back and head out to the exact same stand i was at figured that may be my best bet of seeing if that deer is still alive shot my bow a bunch everything seemed to be flying fine uh pins were good at 20 and 30 broadheads were flying with field points so nothing nothing really that i could tell was wrong with the bow went back and watched the video a few times the flight seemed fine i think Really what happened is I just kind of got right up in that armpit, hit into the shoulder blade. So I'm gonna head out there and I'll see you all at the stand. some good blood. Found him. I'm back at the barn. Went ahead and showered, ate, relaxing now. But just wanted to talk a little bit about that hunt. That was uh, pretty exciting for me to get that, <laughs> that redemption. Um, you know, it still sucks the feeling of uh, missing or losing a deer potentially. I did go walk around a little bit more to see if I could find my lighted knock. Uh, they say they last about 40 hours, the batteries do. And I, I walked the trail all the way to the last blood spot, didn't see anything. And then walked for about another 30, 45 minutes, you know, kind of doing a little bit of a grid search and didn't really see anything either. No buzzards, nothing. So hopeful that that deer lived and really, really happy that I had another opportunity there to take a shot at that pig. It almost was in the exact same location and I absolutely smoked it. Went about 50 to 60 yards or so and then fell into a creek. So that was pretty exciting to be able to get some redemption on that. So I'm wrapping up the editing in this video and 
I'm very kind of hesitant to post this. It was pretty disappointing. And I just, you know, putting a bad shot on a deer and not recovering it, whether it's dead or maybe it made it, I'm not sure. I just almost didn't post it, but then I started thinking about what my channel is all about. And I started to realize like, I'm a beginner bow hunter. This is something that I need to share because there's other people out there like me that probably are in a similar situation or struggling on their first hunt. And I just want it to be as real as possible. So that's kind of the reason I'm posting it. Also, I just wanted to show kind of the ups and downs of bow hunting. I mean, a rough morning and then followed up with a great afternoon and it just really felt really good. But yeah, I'm curious what y'all's thoughts are on the shot on the deer. You know, the reaction it made, I thought maybe it was a heart shot, but then the more I watch it, there's, it's almost no penetration. And I, I just, I'm not sure if that deer's alive or dead. I'm curious what y'all's thoughts are. So feel free to leave a comment down below or shoot me an email and let me know what you think. But I appreciate y'all watching this video and hope y'all join me on my next hunt. Thanks guys.